Hey there everyone, I've got lesson number 11 today. Today's date is 5-1-2020 or May 1st, 2020. It's May, finally. So for today's uh, math lesson, we are working on just completing the number sentence. So on the front, they've given us some pictures to look at. The first one, I'm going to help you with number one and number two. The first one, um, I see a group of tens and ones on this side, so I'm going to count them up first. I've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, okay? So on my first line in my number sentence, I'm going to write 54. Um, the second uh, group here is 10, 20. Fill that in. Now my job is to add them up. For this one, I think it would be the easiest to just count up the pieces here. So I've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and I'm gonna go back and count the ones, 71, 72, 73, 74. Okay, another way you could solve this is once you've found the numbers in your number sentence, you can line them up on the side. So I'd have 54, and 20, line them up like this. Remember, we always start on the one side, so four plus zero is four, five plus two is seven. I got 74, 74, okay? Number two, we're gonna do the same thing. Count up the first section, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. Again, 54 and find the second section, 10, 20, 30, 40 this time, okay? And again, I could count them up from the picture or I could line them up to add over here. I'm gonna do both for you. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Go back and count the ones, 91, 92, 93, 94. Okay, how I would line these up, I would start with 54 and 40. Okay, again, we start with the ones. 4 plus 0 is 4. 5 plus 4 is 9. 94. 94. We're good. Now, on the back, I'm going to help you with letter A and letter C. This time, we don't get a picture. Okay, so it just tells us to solve. We get to pick the way we're going to solve. This is where it gets fun for us because we get to pick the way that we like the best. I'm gonna show you two ways that I like to do, but if you have a different way that you like to solve, you can do it that way. So the first way I like to solve is to just draw a picture. So I've got 47, I'm gonna draw quick tens and ones to show 47. So that would be 40, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's a quick way to show 47. Over here, I'm gonna show 40 with four 10 sticks, okay? And then I can count them up. So I've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87. Okay, just like that, I've solved the problem. The other way I really like to do um, solve these problems is to line them up like I was showing you on the front. So I've got 35 and I've got 30. Now notice when I say line them up, these numbers are right on top of each other, right? The first number, the first digit in our number is lined up together, and the last digit in our number is lined up together. So that way, if I wanted to or needed to, I could go like this, right? Okay, so we always start on the one side. Five plus zero is five. And again, look, they're all lined up. Three plus three is six. Okay, and I can write my answer 65, just like that. All right, so go ahead and work the rest on your own. Remember on these back ones, you can solve however 
uh, makes more sense to you, but I would like to see some work. Okay, don't leave this area blank. This area is here to show your work. So please show me how you're solving this problem. Thanks for watching.